in every episode of the game. You know, by the time it gets to the next commercial, they, it's like 15 straight facts about what Darwin was figuring out if this baby is in his or not. Don't, don't talk about Darwin. <laughs> that's, the pro that's just the problem I have with it. I mean, I did watch the triple episode of Basketball Wives, and I feel like Evelyn is fine, but she's just dumber than a broken tree branch. And I have to be honest, she's not smart at all. There's a lot of not smart women that are on these programs. Right. And, and I, I represent my mom who has passed away, and I, I love black women, and I love powerful black women that portray that image on TV, and I want to start seeing more images like that and less of like women. Get your finger off of it while you're live. A lot, of, a lot of women look at basketball wives and have conversation. And I'm telling y'all because I've been on the freeway having the conversation, not about the women on the show, but about the men behind them. And the show, yeah, and the show brings up conversation about the men because you got to think about it. Just like you said, it's called basketball wives, but nobody is in a good marriage. No. You know, nobody is even married for the most part. So um, what does that say about black men? Yeah, it does. That you get a little bit of money and y'all, this is my little issue. I'll tell the truth, but that guys get a little bit of money and then cheat, and then go to white women, and then you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Come on, let's be real. Yeah. That that's what that's the conversations that I've heard about about yeah. the show. You know what I mean? And to me, Evelyn, she's bitter. Very bitter. She's angry. bitter. Very yeah. very bitter. And so is Jennifer. Yeah. Um, but not. I have to say that I feel as though they have reason to be innocent because of what they've been through, okay. you know what I mean, with with those guys, but I definitely understand your standpoint. And right. I agree. That's No, I was just going to say, they are bitter, they are angry, they've been through things, and that is relatable for a lot of women that sit at home and watch it. Like, their situations are very relatable. It might not be to that level, you know, but it is very relatable. And that is what draws the audience. I mean, how do these friends or people you know that are going to the drama with the body right. of their child or ex-boyfriend or ex-husband, whatever the case is. So that is what draws most women in because it's almost like a female type. Yeah. You know, like, like I feel you. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, that's what draws them in. But you, like, at the end of the day, you really have to be able to distinguish their life from your life. I